Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cameron here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some insane ways you guys can improve your performance on your PCs, really squeeze out the max FPS possible in your systems. So if you're looking for a way to turn your potato toaster into an unbelievable gaming rig, you've come to the right place. Hit subscribe, you guys won't regret it, and you can always unsubscribe later if I just make a ton of terrible videos. So for the first thing I want to go ahead and recommend that will automatically increase your FPS up to 20 25% is just downloading this free smart game booster and I'm gonna go into detail about this it's a really cool free program that you guys can download I'll have a link to it in the description by the way I'm in no no way sponsored by them I'm not I won't make any commission off it I just found a really awesome tool that'll help you guys out so I've already clicked the optimize button it'll have like a game boost button you click it and literally it makes your system so much faster not only does it include the best way to optimize your PC for CPU, RAM, and GPU usage, it also allows you to check all of your systems here that can like clean up space to make your system faster. It can tweak certain PC settings to give you a faster response time to your internet. It can do automatic driver updates. This thing updated like three drivers I didn't even know I needed. And it can defrag your games, which means that they load faster and run smoother. So all that is included free guys, it's amazing. If you guys actually decide to register it, I think it's like $1.50 per month or like 20 bucks for, no, 18 bucks for a full year. So it's an extremely good deal and a, and a really good bang for the buck if you're looking for a system that'll improve your PC and increase the FPS as much as possible. This is the one for it. Anyways guys, so what you'll wanna do when you download it, go ahead and scan your system it's going to go ahead and, and check through everything in your system to make, make it even faster. So it's going to go through your entire hard drive, just clean it up, delete any temp files or things that don't belong there, which is amazing. Um, it'll just say that I'll need to close Chrome in order to get this to work better. So let's click OK and fix and then basically just do that once and it should speed up your PC by like up to 25%. So let's jump right into the next tip, and that's going to be your Epic Game Launcher settings. Believe it or not, there are some settings you can change in Epic Games Launcher to make it run even smoother. So you're just going to want to go ahead and open that up. Go into your library here, and then pull up the Fortnite options right here, these little three buttons. And this helps a lot if you're having FPS stutters or FPS drops uh, in the game. You're going to want to go here to Options. And if you have anything checked here that is not your core or battle royale folder right here at the top, you need to uncheck these other things if they're listed because they can actually just slow it down and make it run slower in general. So once you do that, hit apply and you're good to go for the next step. Next thing you'll want to do, click those three dots again and go ahead and verify your game files here. This will verify everything within the game settings of Fortnite. It doesn't delete or remove anything. What it does is it just decodes the game files and makes sure there's no errors within your game. So if you're having any issues where your game freezes or if there's stutters or lag, this can this is known to fix those issues. Once you've taken care of all those things, make sure your Windows PC is set up for game mode. A lot of people don't know about this, um, so just to cover it real quick, there's actually a game mode within Windows 10. And if you don't have this on, it is known to optimize your PC and make it work a little bit better, including getting higher frames per second in Fortnite. So just make sure that is on and you're basically good to go. Another awesome tip that I preached on this channel is actually resetting the caches and cookies in your Fortnite game folder. So I'm going to show you how, how you can access that right now if you've never done it before. You click this magnifying glass, you type in percent local app data percent sign if I can find the percent sign without looking at my keyboard, there it is. And then you click on that folder there at the top. Basically, it's going to find Fortnite game. I found it right here. I already have Fortnite game nine, so I'm just going to delete that because if you already did this before, you'll just need to delete the old one and then just rename your original Fortnite game. And then you can add any number after it. And basically what that does is it resets all your display settings. This has been known to increase a bunch of FPS as well, especially if you've never done it before. So I'm just going to add 5. And that's basically it. The next time you open up Fortnite game, it'll be refreshed. And this can actually clear up a lot of issues with stuttering or FPS drops. So, yep, 
try it out after you've done that. Another awesome step I want to teach you guys, and I don't really talk about this much on the channel, but if you have background running applications on your computer, this can actually cause your computer to slow down, especially when you're running intensive games like Fortnite if it's using a lot of your CPU or GPU. So you just want to make sure background apps are off. Nice way to do that is just click that magnifying glass, type in background apps, and it'll be right up there at the top for you. So you just click that. This will actually show all the apps that run in the background while you're just using your computer on your daily average um, you know, way. So you'll see a giant list of apps. I just went ahead and unchecked everything except the NVIDIA control panel because that one actually is useful. So I'd recommend doing this, something similar to this, maybe only leave a couple or or just one uh, open while you're playing Fortnite because this will actually increase your FPS if you have a, a few apps you didn't know about running in the system. Now guys, for some of the most hefty information you will need, and that's how to set up your NVIDIA control panel. If you guys haven't ever opened that thing up, you need to watch this video closely because these are gonna be the best settings you need um, that should increase your FPS by a lot. If you have AMD control panel, uh, if you're running AMD GPUs, no worries, I got you covered. There's a link in the description of this video to a good game optimizing AMD video, um, guide. So check that out. But yeah guys, just open up your NVIDIA control panel. Once you got that guy loaded up, just make sure that you have the correct refresh rate selected for both of your monitors. You'll notice I got two, one that's only a 60 hertz and another one that's a 240 hertz. So just make sure they're set on their highest refresh rate. Once you've done that, go under adjust image settings with preview at the top left. By default guys, you guys are left on like use the advanced 3D image settings or let the 3D application decide. You need to actually use my preference emphasizing which is here at the bottom and the reason for that is you actually get this um you get a, like a scroll wheel here or a, a slider you want to make sure it's set to performance performance over quality means you're going to get more frames per second but they may not look as clean but we definitely want to sacrifice a bit of uh of the quality for performance to give you the higher frames per second so after you apply that go over here in the top left and then select manage 3d settings there's a couple settings we want to change here so if you scroll down until you see max frame rate you're going to want to go ahead and decide on whether you should have that on off which is totally fine you can or if you have a max FPS that you want the system to use and not use any more resources for, set it to whatever the max is that you want, whether that's 240, or if you have a 360 hertz monitor, do that. I just have mine as off just because I like to see really high numbers on my FPS screen. The next thing you want to do is go down here where it says power management. By default, you guys are over on optimal power. You need to set that to prefer maximum performance. This means you're going to squeeze out the best graphics performance possible from your GPU. The next option we want to go ahead and select is under texture filtering quality. This is usually set as quality, but switch to the high performance. Again, it's going to give you better performance rather than just trying to go for quality. So those are basically the best settings you can choose for the NVIDIA control panel that at least make a big difference from the default settings here. So go ahead and just close out of that once you have that taken care of. So at this point, this is basically all the best tips I can give you for increasing your FPS. If you did all these steps, guaranteed you'll have a dramatic boost in your FPS if you haven't tried any of those before. So real quick guys, I just want to share with you guys settings because this can actually help increase the FPS even a bit more. So we're going to hop in here to settings and go ahead and just scroll down here till you get to 3D resolution. Just make sure that's maxed out. By the way, everything's grayed out for me. Well, at least the majority of everything's grayed out because I'm running performance mode. Performance mode still is king when it comes to getting the highest frames per second possible. You get over like a third, like 33% more frames per second just switching to performance mode. Um, so for everything else, just make sure like V-Sync is off, got show FPS, that doesn't matter, you can have that on or off. Um, textures I have is low, although some people believe that having them on high actually can increase your FPS. So you might wanna play around with this one on textures. View distance, far is sufficient for me. Like I can still see people 300 meters away at, at far, so I just keep it on far. And yeah, guys, that's basically it. So 3D resolution is all the way maxed out. 
and we're on unlimited frame rates. So um, typically this will get me anywhere from like 400 to 700 frames per second. Um, it seems to be kind of steady <laughs> around 400 to 700. I don't know why that is such a big difference though in like frame rates, but whatever, we're not gonna worry about it. This should have helped all you guys out, and if it did, smash a like on the video. I really appreciate that. We're blowing up big time on this channel. Can't thank you guys enough for it, and I hope you guys have an awesome season this year in Fortnite. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace and butt grease.